Hi, this is PC Roger. And on this short video, what I'm gonna kind of do is a sort of an unboxing of this APC SURTA 2200XL. And it's an online UPS. And it's a little bit more expensive than the standard, like the old uh, SUA models, and uh, that, that actually switch over when there's a power outage to battery versus these online ones that are always running through the battery and you eliminate that kind of that very uh, millisecond or whatever it is of switching time, which some electronic devices can be sensitive to. Bottom line, it's a little bit better unit, does cost a little bit more, but they're making a lot smaller than they used to. And the SUA 3000 that this replaced uh, was a lot heavier. And uh, this is gonna be kind of nice to have in its place. We don't have quite the power consumption needs that we did before, but the old one actually lasted about 15 years on just two sets of batteries. The initial batteries lasted about seven years, a little bit more and the uh, replacement batteries, which were APC brand, lasted uh, over seven years. So that's a really good lifetime to get out of a UPS and out of a couple sets of batteries. And the unit still works, but we just don't see uh, that it's prudent to put new batteries into a uh, unit that is that old. So we bought this new one, and we're gonna take a look. Now, uh, I actually took it out of the box. The box is so huge, I couldn't really get it in the camera space. It's not a big deal. There's not too much uh, to it other than the, the, the unit itself and uh, the little plastic cover front that'll go on. And here's the bag of goodies. It's just got the, a USB cable and uh, a, another type of serial cable. The documentation, if you ever choose to open it, and the CD with some software on it that you'll probably never use. If you do want the APC software, download it off their website. You might get a newer version of it anyway. But just so that you know, this uh, cable here has got the standard uh, DB9, uh, male on one and female on the other. And this uh, is the USB cable, uh, USB on this end, and it's uh, RJ45 on this end, plugs in the back unit that way. Now these feet are actually screwed in place. Looks like it could uh, move this back, but set forward, I think, to uh, match up with this grill. Uh, there's the standard warning in the front here. I shouldn't say maybe warning, but just, you know, I have to take this off and connect the battery. On the back side, it's not a big deal. Uh, some people like to, to keep them just the, the quality assurance test that came with it. On the front, the standard indicators, the LED indicators for the usage of different power issues and the battery condition, uh, off switch and on test switch. Somebody wanted to make sure that sticker didn't fall off. And it does show you what to do. You're going to need to take a screwdriver, take this plate off to actually plug the battery connectors together and put the plate back on. And that snaps in place. Let's take a look at the back of the unit. Looks like we have a six foot power cord with a well, I'll have to look up what actual kind of connector that is. Maybe I'll put it on the on the video and text, but it is a, a different type of outlet that is required. And I believe they do that to make sure that you have adequate amperage, but I could be wrong. But it is 120 volt input voltage. And then here you have the, just six power connectors here. It's not like the larger ones that used to have the, them sectioned off with resets and things like that. Here's your nine pin serial USB Oh, this is an EPO terminal. I'd have to look that up. I've never used anything like that. And the site wiring fault. That's usually if case the, the, either the polarity is switched or there is a, uh, an, in, an inadequate ground that will come on. And with this, uh, uh, if you take this panel off here, you can insert the, uh, I think it's a 9617, if I'm not mistaken. I've got a video on that on configuring if you need to uh, or want to have uh, an RJ45 port for network usage, because this is USB. So you can actually monitor and control, monitor the UPS and control some devices uh, via network instead of using the, the serial connections. And those are pretty nice. So that's it for this short video. I hope it's helped you in some way. I, I do have some more information on my website and uh, maybe in the description of the video, I've got some links in the, in the description. I actually bought this unit on Newegg Business. Uh, they had the best price, and uh, there's a link for that in the description. But you do have to uh, open an account, so to speak. I mean, you just have to enter information. They don't have to, don't require approval or anything. And if you don't want to do that, I've got a link to Amazon as well. So there's a lot of places you can buy this, but prices do vary. But uh, New Egg Business had the, had the best price when uh, I was looking for this unit, and so I was able to pick it up. I think I ordered it about 48 hours ago from right now. 
and UPS uh, delivered it today. So thanks for watching. Uh, I've got, I'll show some buttons here on the screen to subscribe to my channel and check out some other videos. And we will see you next time.